in the sporting world well done let's move on and quickly so there has been a problem with doping in this country it's still being talked about and the stakeholders are talking about mitigation measures against doping now while kenya is talking about it the italian government has done this in a different way a distance runner called alessandro bracconi has been severely punished he was given 12 years by the athletics integrity unit for doping his country added 24. <laughs> What's 14 plus 24? <laughs> He's been banned for 36 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> quick comments, as I usually Ale say Ale in the social Alessandro, media. Just Ale quick comments. Alessandro is two quick ones. Alessandro is 36 now. So by 36 the plus 36, over, you'll be 72. Yes, oh, he can so still run a marathon. Run now, this is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you take a dope, you dope maybe to increase your, your current performance. Right. This guy, his timing in the marathon, is 2.59. <laughs> That's three minutes. This guy was waiting to be punished. So, really, what, what, what was he doing? No, but, but let's, was, look at it. Just... Let's, let, let's look at it critically. Yeah. Maybe this is the way to go for governments. If yeah. someone has been singled out for doping, I see a lot of athletes complaining about doping and how it's messing them up. Because every Kenyan athlete yeah. now is being looked at in suspicion. What, yeah. What's your comment? No, I like what the Italian government has done. Just go. And everyone else who's thinking this is my lifeline, ah, I mean, they're not going to try it. You know, if you try, go. And that is an example for Would you recommend else. that to this country? Last, because uh, in the last decade, they should have done that. <laughs> it should have been done in the last decade. Because yes. yes. that's what they're complaining that this was a messing it up for them. It should them. be made criminal. It, is, it should criminal. be. I mean, yes. but by the time you're running away, by the time you're accessing something, and, and you know, we were having a, a conversation earlier. Um, about lack of knowledge, which is true because, you know, markets are very different. What you find a kid in LD or a kid in Italian is very different from probably the exposure that somebody else has. But, uh, the, you know, it's, it's, for me, it's really, really critical. You know, I, I, I like what you said. It should just be made criminal and then there will be nothing about lack of knowledge. Yeah. If you're committing a crime, it's a Ignorance committing a crime. A crime. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You saw what was happening just the other day. Some athletes are getting their medals now couple of years after they ran because somebody has just been convicted of doping yeah, now. The, the limelight is taken yeah. away from them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well then, Maybe that is the way to go. Let's look at another preview. Chan, the cup of nations for African best players, that's the easiest way to call it, eh, is starting tomorrow. This is the tournament that gives a chance to players who are not based outside of their country to be able to market themselves and it will run from the 13th of January to the 4th of February. Do we know the fixtures, Ken? Yes, we have the fixtures. But just before we go to the fixtures, because this is Africa, there must be something. And here is the something. So Morocco, which borders Algeria, has refused to send its team. Why? Because Algeria has refused Morocco to fly the, their national airline from Rabat to Constantine, where the tournament is being held. Why? Because in 2021, there was a political tiff between the two, and Algeria closed the borders and severe diplomatic ties. I so what has, you, what I, has I, Morocco I, done? Yeah. Morocco has said, okay, we are not going, and has asked its players to return to their respective clubs. You see, that's deliberately yeah. the reason why I asked you about the fixtures. There is <laughs> always a tiff between Morocco and Algeria. Yeah. So much so that it gets into a diplomatic row. It's not the first time. It's not in, in, in the Cup of Nations. It happens all the time. But let's look at the fixtures. What do we have tomorrow? Because it's starting tomorrow. So tomorrow we have the host Algeria playing uh, Libya at 10 p.m. Uh, North then, African Derby. Yeah, that's, that's really a word, a North African Derby. And then on Saturday, we have three matches. Our representatives, Ethiopia, play Mozambique at 4 o'clock. We have DRC playing our other representatives, Uganda, at 7 p.m. And Ivory Coast and Senegal square out in an all uh, uh, West, West African, African Derby, Derby. Derby. At, at 10 p.m. Okay. These are very interesting fixtures. Yeah. Really, I mean, uh, it's, I'm, I'm looking at just the diversity, Ethiopia in East Africa and Mozambique in Southern, uh, DR Congo probably in Central, and then Uganda in East Africa as well. It's a good measure. It's a good uh, chance to actually, you know, gauge yourselves to see how much you, you can be able to uh, bring into the game. And I think I'm looking at Ethiopia, Ethiopia and Mozambique, and I'm thinking a technical game in that DRC, Congo versus Uganda, a very physical game, the way I'm seeing it. Yeah. But we'll see how it turns out. But it starts tomorrow. It's a feast you should not miss altogether. We'll be updating you on the results of that as it goes on as well. Let's move on now to boxing. There is a Nairobi fight night that is coming up. Rayton Okwiri 
who last time lost in South Africa to the DRC boxer because he broke his thumb and technically lost that fight, has been evaded by two opponents before, one a Ghanaian and recently in Uganda, the fight did not take off. 2 a.m., the venue changed, and then again, the opponent did not turn up. Oh, it started raining, all manner of excuses. Now he finally is going to fight, although it's a non-titled bout. This is going to happen at uh, at Nairobi's KICC ballroom. Yeah, he's fighting Ali Ndoro, who's really just stepped in as a last minute. Um, I don't know, Okwiri has not been very fortunate in his fights. You know, he traveled all the way to Ghana. Mm -hmm. The other time he traveled to Kampala, yeah. then it was said that the promoter did not uh, cough out the cough money out you're the supposed money. to pay them before the fight. Yeah. And, and, and that was that, you know, the fight was cancelled. We've got a couple of fights. One, and, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten undercard bouts. You know, the bouts, and even the one Okwiri is fighting is not a title fight, no. okay? Yeah. But the one that is being talked about mostly is this man called Karim Mutukazi Mandonga. <laughs> that man has been talking a lot. Uh, you seem to like him for some reason. No, Why? 100%. Why? Yeah. No, no, no. Let's hear no, it from her. Look, um, when was the last time we were, you were in a room and had this excitement about a boxer like this but the guy is talking too much i know? like that <laughs> I, I can tell you on social media today and yesterday everyone was like Uyu Mandonga and William say apparently <laughs> he's lost what ten eight, 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 out, of, eight, of eight ten. out of ten <laughs> but but he's always being called why do they call these guys promoters this guy has understood the business of boxing he is called for those fights. He makes his money, you know. He's, he's given his fists <laughs> names. <laughs> this one is called uh, ICU. This one is called what? You know, he's, he's, he's coming with a coffee to marry people. He's, he's the real you know, entertainer. You know, you know, he's here when he was in Tanzania, when he, before he came. And by then, this is his first fight outside Tanzania. Outside the country, <laughs> outside yes. This country. First said, trip. He said he's, he's going, he's, he's been invited, and he's been met by the president of Kenya. Who is this man? Who is his personal friend? <laughs> You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll be shocked. His personal supporter. I'll be shocked if, if the president and look for him. I, I, don't, I don't even think the president knows that the guy exists. But he has said that's his biggest supporter and he's coming to kill the Kenyan. No, he, 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 he then decided to go and visit his opponent at his base in Gikomba, in Gikomba. where he's selling clothes and all that. He had lunch at Mpambe. <laughs> this, is, is, this man is just a tourist. No, he's brilliant. You he, think so? He's so good for, for any brand or any, you know, any uh, marketer that wants to put money behind that. He's, 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 not, it's show he's, business. he's not fighting for free. So the more yes. bouts he gets, then obviously... It's show yeah, business and he's never going to lose We are praying that he wins his... Absolutely. We are praying that he wins his bout. But Rachel Nokwiri is, a, is a fighting Alin Daro and uh, it's going to be 10 rounds and... Um, uh, Okwiri has a record of 8 one, one, six, with 6 KOs. Uh, he's a former Africa Boxing Union champion. He's facing Daro, who's got a 5 0 one, two, uh, record. 2 KOs only in a non title middleweight fight that will be at the ballroom at the KICC. Make sure you make your way there to be able to support the Kenya. Good luck to Rachel Okwiri as well. There are a couple of other matches. There are like 10 other bouts that are going to be happening there. But we'll leave it at that until we know what Mutukazi has done and whether Kazi has been done on him at those bouts at the ballroom. We'll take a break now. Remember to interact with us. We'll be happy to hear from you. I am at Bernard underscore sports. He's at Ken Che 